Okay, here we are on my daily path through the woods. I come here every day with a dog at some point or other. It takes about, I don't know, it takes about two hours to do the, the whole route. It's a little ring with a kind of viewpoint thing at the top. Which affords some rather pretty views. If it's a nice day, which this isn't, it's very overcast. So again, I'm just I'm just getting the measure of this little recording device. To see the sort of techniques, and this obviously is a poor technique. Don't try walking, or rather you can try if you want, but it's bloody difficult to keep your hands still. And try not to trip over tree roots or what have you. Coming down now. Kind of pretty though, it's kind of nice up here. It's a nice place to come. Walk the dog. This is not jungle, by the way. This is what they would call... Um, oh, you'd have to ask Willie. Probably... Probably subtropical forest. Except... Except we're a little bit north to be calling it subtropical. It's not really subtropical. Maybe subtemperate? I don't know. I don't know. I see up ahead there's one of these... Tree ferns, these are really common here. Purdy, purdy, purdy. Continuing all along the path. I can hear I can hear some woodpeckers, but I can't see them. Oh no, it's not. I think it's a squirrel on a tree branch way over there. Well, take my word for it. There is a squirrel moving around somewhere on that branch in the middle of your screen. Okay, enough. These are called big elephant ears in Chinese. These are parasitic ferns of some kind. And there are some very noisy birds up here, which, the sound of which I don't recognize, so I don't know what they are. Oh, there's, there's one of these tree ferns, look. The mountains are usually covered with these until you get to higher elevations and then they die out. You don't see them. So one of the things about Taiwan is that the climate is vertical rather than rather than by latitude. You know, as you as you're down at the lower altitudes you get this kind of you get this kind of woodland forest. Now once you once you go higher, this dies out. It gives way to gives way to conifers like capress capresses. Oh, I, don't, I don't know a whole bunch of things of conifers. Anyway, conifers. You know what they are. And as you get higher still, they die out. And well, most of them die out. But you still have these huge uh, ancient conifers. There, some of them are thousands of years old. And they can they can really get to astonishing sizes. <coughs> After that, there's really nothing but no heather. They don't have heather, but in, what they have in in place of heather is something they, they call it scrub bamboo or miniature bamboo or something. But it's about the same density and height as as heather. 
and the hillsides are covered with it. That's that's the kind of alpine levels. That's several thousand meters. But uh, you don't see, you won't see that down here. I'll have to wait for the later video installment. So we're walking through here and coming out into slightly more open space. There's a little bit of wetland here. And I have to watch my feet because there are lots of snakes here at this time of year, making their last foray before the cold weather sets in and their frogs dry up. Frogs is what they mostly live on. Oh, here we go. We're going to have a we're going to have a little a little bit of excitement. Badly trained dog. Okay. Anyway, continuing on. And. That's enough for now.